Disclaimer, today's video is not an advertisement for the bot, so do not ask me where to buy it. Today's video is simply an educational video on how the bot works and how you can get around the bot, especially for traps. Now let's get to the video. Hey, so today we'll be going over the shield bot. Again, this is for educational purposes. That way you have the same information that they have, or at least you know what they can see. So this is just going to be a basic uh, overview before we do any tests and all that. Again, I will be using my alt to do some tests. That way you can get kind of an idea of how this actually works. So let's take a look at this notification here. So as soon as someone's shield breaks, a notification like this will pop up in a chat room. It says, Big Master 60's shield has broken. That's what that uh, symbol right there means. Shield is broken. It will give you their location on the map. It will give you their might on here. Their kills right here. Then it will give their last uh, activity that the bot has picked up. So again, it picked up an equipment change 79 days ago. It does not know when you reach switch shields and all that. So if you kept updating your shield and not doing anything on the game, it won't pick up any activity. It'll just say the last thing they actually picked up was you changing your equipment here. And uh, the shield was actually put on 83 days ago. So the last time they were active was 79 days ago. Last time they went under a shield was 83 days and the shield has broken now. So what that means is probably the person is offline and someone who has a tracker bot will probably go try and attack this person because they haven't been on for 79 days so uh, that was the next one we'll take a look at this other one here right under it again shield broke uh, 265 million might 4 million kills it said the VIP points have gone up 25 minutes ago a lot of times when it says VIP points have gone up that means their daily login has reset so every time your daily login resets the bot will pick that up and it'll say VIP points have gone up even if you have max VIP points. So if you are baiting somebody and your daily login is coming up, as soon as that daily login goes on, the bot will pick that up so your bait is kind of trash. So never bait around your uh, what's called your daily reset. Keep that in mind. So it says the last time they actually burned was 69 days ago. I will say the might where they went down to, so 265 to 229. That could be their base might. So the person might now know that the base might is 229. You only have about 40 million in, in troops. Uh, it says the shield was on for eight minutes and one second. So what that could mean is you're actually your eight hour shield just went down and now you might be a prime target. So keep in mind, this is what the bot sees. Again, we'll do some tests on my alt and you get to see exactly what's going on and what the bot sees from that. So let's go get to that. So before we get to my alt, I'm just going to go through all the message types so you can know what the ledger actually means. So again, this uh, symbol here means shield dropped. This is burning or smoking. Castle is moving. Uh, this is nickname changed. Guild changed. Lord is returning. So that means the, your leader is returning. Uh, rally alerts if there's a rally going on. New uh, castle in the kingdom. Castle has left the kingdom. Uh, and then special monsters. And you can see all the different symbols here. Might, kills, last activity, last time burning, leader in jail. So if the person has been capped, you'll know uh, if he has been capped and where his leader is. Shield drop because of Wonderland. So if you port to the Wonder, it'll tell you that. How long the shield stayed on. Uh, Fury, which is the frowny face here apparently. Uh, the player is camps outside the castle. And then you can actually find where those camps are. So if for whatever reason you're trying to rally a castle and they're farming, you can actually hit the tile and find out what formation they are in or something like that. Uh, castle is under the shield. Yeah, it's the umbrella that's open here. Uh, active tracking target has moved. Uh, total might loss, total troop loss, successful attacks, attack failed. All that stuff. There's also another one which is commands so you can actually track a certain castle and that's what we'll do with my alt to start off. We will track my alt castle and you get to see exactly what it does when you track. So I think it's backslash 8t for this command here. I believe I did look at it before. Um, I think my name is bot baiter right now. Since I might be actually baiting some of the bots, I'm hopefully people don't mess up my video if I put this. So let's go here. So again, bot baiter is my alt. Uh, you get to see exactly what was going on. So in this uh, kingdom, you can see where my camps are. Again, I do have camps out right now because I'm 
trying to hide some troops just in case someone does part of my alt and hit me. I uh, can see I have been collecting resources and I have teleported. So that's all the stuff this is giving. There are bots that actually show the gear. Um, I might show you a picture of that because I don't have access to one of those bots, but it's basically the same thing. It just tracks your gear. If you do switch your gear quick enough, it will not pick it up. And I found that out because I asked someone who had that bot when I was trapping and it did not pick up my war gear when I was uh, doing my uh, gear swap. So that's pretty good. So we'll do this and then I'll go on to the game and actually do some activity and it should actually change and give me updates on that. So I'll be right back. Hey, so now that we're back on the game, I'm going to do some things on the account to see what it actually picks up. So some just some basic stuff you might be doing while you're doing that. So let's say you are hitting a monster. Let's just hit a monster. I'm not going to actually use a full hit. Hit a monster I'll do. Um, I'll do a VIP quest, see if that picks it up. Uh, then we will do a, sorry, a guild quest quest, an admin quest. And then we'll go into my castle and we'll heal a couple troops. Let's say uh, heal that many troops. Use. Boom. Done that. Uh, what else would you be doing? Again, if you are doing anything, don't be doing this if you're trying to bait. But I'm just showing you what it actually picks up. Then I could... I don't want to scout because I want to actually use a shield and break it after this. So... Um, yeah, so that, that's basically it. We'll do those things. We'll go back to the tracker and see what it actually says, because it should be tracking my castle right now. And let's say this, we'll actually just port away. We'll do a random relocator here. And that'll be the last thing that we do. Uh, we'll go back into the tracker bot and see what it actually picked up from all that activity. Hey, so we are back on the bot. So uh, the only things it really picked up from all that activity we just did was the healing. So might change. It said I went up 5.5K. That was from healing that tier four troop. And then it said I have changed location. I've gone from 174.862 to 274.428. So those are the only things there. So you can see doing admin quest, doing your VIP quest. None of that is actually picked up. The only thing that was picked up is actually might change there and a location change. Again, it will pick up guild helps. Uh, again, there's no helps in, that I can do right now because I'm not in a guild that's in the kingdom. Uh, and then there's other things you can do like attacking and all that. We will do a shield break test to see if it does pick up uh, how I broke the shield. First off, we'll do an eight hour rally and then we'll do a location change, the old port to the wonder and port back and see if I can do it fast enough that the bot doesn't pick it up. Again, some bots are faster than others, but we'll do that test right after this. So let's get back to the game. So we're going to test the first way to break your shield. So if you are a rally trap and you want people to actually come and hit you, obviously you need to break your shield and have the bot pick that up. So I find the best way to do that is set an eight hour rally on a empty castle. You will go into fury, your shield will break and the bot will not pick up that you did that yourself. It won't show that you scouted anyone or anything like that. It will just show up as a shield break. So we'll do that test right now. Uh, go back to the bot, see what the bot is telling us and then you get to see yourself what's actually going on. I have uh, bookmarked a castle here. So I'm just gonna do an eight hour rally. So I'm gonna set an eight hour rally. Again, I have, oh, I have 155 troops because I just healed them. <laughs> do that eight hour rally here, break the shield, uh, stop the shield here. Let's disband that, boom. And then we'll go back to the bot and see how long it takes to pick it up. It is currently 308. It may take 30 seconds. It may take a couple minutes depending on the speed of the bot. So let's go check that out. Okay, so we're back on the screen. You can see here it did pick up my shield breaking here. Did not say I did anything else. It just said shield up. If I had broke it by scouting, it would say sent a scout. So my last activity was when I actually put the shield up. You can see the eight hour rally did not get picked up by the bot at all. If this was, let's say, a longer shield than three minutes, obviously it might look like my shield dropped naturally and you might actually get a hit from it. So that's the first way to bait somebody while using the bot. Uh, this took about a minute here. Again, it depends on the bot speed. Maybe it was 30 seconds, but it's quite quick. So if your shield drops, they'll know very, very quick that it is happening. So let's go test out another way to do it. Hey, so the next test we're going to try out is the port to the wonder and port back to the same spot. Breaking the shield that way, will the bot pick up that we actually moved 
or can we beat it? I believe there is a chance to beat it, but yet be very, very quick. There is a second delay between porting and porting back to your own spot. You won't be able to click on the ground until, let's say, like, I think it's one or two seconds like that. We'll try it out, see if the bot picks it up. If not, we'll try again and see if we can beat it. We'll basically try it and see if we can beat it. So let's go to the wonders. So let's find a wonder here. I do have to pick up the phone, unfortunately, for this. So I'm going to port to this spot right here. And then I have myself uh, bookmarked here so I know exactly a spot. So I'll transfer there and then click on here very quickly. Click back. Got to click on the same spot like five times and then click back. Okay, so that's about as fast as I can do. Again, you can't really click on the same spot to about two seconds after. I did click on it like 25 times there trying to get the spot. Eventually it popped up and I went back. Maybe could be a little quicker. We'll go over to the bot next, see if it picked up that I actually moved or did we actually beat the bot this time? So perfect, it looks like we were able to beat the bot. So the last activity it did pick up for me was shield up seven minutes ago and my shield broke uh, seven minutes later. So that was, that worked that time. So if I had had like a 24 hour shield on, I poured it back to the wonder, poured it back, uh, it would have showed up my last activity was shield up, which is what we want. Uh, we're going to test it again. We're going to go a little bit slower this time and then see how long it actually takes before it actually picks it up. So let's go back and try it one more time. Hey, so this time what we're going to do is do the exact same thing, but I'm going to give a little bit of a delay before I port back, maybe two or three seconds. See if that delay is enough for the bot to pick it up or not. I know there are bots that are good enough to do that. I'm not sure if this one is. So we're, let's try it out. So let's go again. We'll port over to the wonder here. Uh, we'll just find a spot, same spot. We'll transfer here and then I'll do this very slowly. I port to the wonder, go over, look at my spot, click on here, wait a couple seconds here, then transfer back and see if it does pick it up there. Again, that's kind of slow. So maybe the bot was able to pick that up. So let's go over to the uh, tracker and see if it was able to pick it up this time. Hey, so taking a look at this, it looks like it did not pick it up this time either. So that means this shield bot is kind of slow compared to other ones, which is kind of nice if you're finding a person who has a shield bot like this. I know I used another one that was a little bit faster or at least I got the test out of one that was a little bit faster and it was much harder to beat it, but this one is much easier. Again, we'll try it one more time, but we'll wait like 15 seconds and see if we can even pick up that switch. So let's do that. I'll be right back. Okay, so this will be the last test we do on this certain one. Again, we'll do the same thing, but we'll wait like 10 seconds. I know no one really, <laughs> no one's that slow, but we'll, we'll do it anyways and see if I can pick it up. Again, this shield bot itself might not be good enough to do that. There might be some better than that. So depending on what kingdom you're in, it may work, it may not work. So let's, let's try it out here. Let's go to here one last time. Go here, port back to the same spot. One, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That might be fast, but whatever. Let's just transfer back here. Again, that, that's probably as slow as anyone would ever do the shield bot test. So let's do that. Go to the tracker, see if it actually picked it up or not. So it looks like it didn't even pick that one up. So again, this bot must be very slow. Let's actually just track the account and see if it picked up any of that at all. If not, the refresh rate obviously on this one is much slower. So bot. Bot Bader, there you go. Boom, let's see. Um, nope, it doesn't look like it picked up any porting. It just shield up, shield up, shield up. Um, so it looks like, yeah, basically the last uh, thing it actually picked up was that. So again, if you are in a kingdom that doesn't have this, it's pretty easy. Unfortunately, this one doesn't have the really fast refresh rate, so I can't test that one out for you guys. But um, that's another way you can still do it because, again, a lot of guilds won't have the top end uh, trackers. If you're in like a top guild, like an LH Kingdom, they will have the gear tracker. They'll have the fast refresh tracker, all that stuff. But uh, you might actually find a guild that doesn't actually have that one. Like this spot, for example, is not as good as those ones. So, um, again, we'll do one more test and I'll be right back. So the last test I want to do on this account is 
technically called the panic test. So um, if you are ever in trouble, there's a rally party on there, you port to the wonder, uh, and then you get burned out of the wonder for whatever reason. So you end up getting burned out of there, and now you think you're safe. No, you are not, because if they have the bot tracker on, like I currently have on this account, I have, I'm currently tracking this, what will happen is about, uh, depending on their bot, it could be 15 to 30 seconds later, they will find your burning castle. So what you need to do now is get away from the bot, because you're trying to frantically get away from that bot as fast as possible. Again, if you're in a top tier kingdom, they might have a better bot. It might be a little bit harder, but in this one, we're gonna try and trick the bot. We're gonna basically port around, change name, uh, all that stuff, try to get away from the bot and see if we're actually capable of doing that or will the bot keep tracking us. So let's actually do that right now. So let's say right now I have started, um, I burned out the wonder, and now what I need to do is actually just ran away. So I'm gonna try ran away, try, try to change my name here, do the panic test here. Um, so I'm gonna just change my name to something random here. Uh, here you go, boom, transfer away. Then I'm gonna leave the guild, and then uh, I'm gonna just pour it away one more time here, try to actually get away from here. Sorry if my finger is in front of my face. Change my gear, do it again, just blah, blah, blah. And we'll see, we'll see how far this actually uh, gets me. So I'm going to do it one more time here. Change my name again. See if I can actually pick it up here. Ooh, do 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 Change my stuff. Ran away. Blah, blah, blah. Then change my name one more time. Let's just do it one more time here. Boom. Ran away. Join a guild, let's say. I don't know, like... <laughs> and let, let, let's see let's see if this actually does pick any of this up here because um we'll see how where it actually lost me and all that because again it should be trying to track me as much as possible so and again it won't track you right away so you can actually have a couple seconds to port in between oh we'll see was that enough to actually get rid of the bot i don't know let's go on there see if it actually picked it up actually let's just change your name one more time just so we actually know what it is let's go back to not bot baiter because then i'll not botter i don't know whatever no one has the name perfect okay now we're on here let's go to the uh the tracker see if i was able to get away with it or are they still tracking me and could i have a rally set on me right now if i stopped moving okay let's go check it out okay so we are back on the tracker here it does look like one second i'm just gonna put my mouse back on here so we can actually click on here there we go, mouse is on. Um, so it looks like here, we go back up. It only actually tracked the first teleport. As soon as I changed my name and ported again, it seemed to have lost this. Again, um, if you're in this kingdom and for whatever reason this bot is tracking you, if you do what I just did, you will get away with it pretty easily. Uh, out of you're, you're out of there pretty much. If you're in an LH kingdom and they have the better bot, it might not work. Again, I don't have access to test that one for you guys, so I, I can't do that, unfortunately. But don't stop porting, because it might actually have a faster refresh rate, might still find you. So yeah, it looks like everything is done. Um, the other thing I'm gonna do is track the new name and see if it can actually uh, pick it up. One second, I forgot what I changed my name to. Okay, so I found it, so let's... Um track my new name see what it says my last stuff was and see if it actually still knows that i actually did that so at what, not botter i think was what i did boom perfect so um all it knows is i changed my name so <laughs> that's the last thing it did uh, so it is it, it did lose me it doesn't really know what my last name was i think just because the refresh rate on this bot is very slow, um, it was not able to pick up all my location changes and name changes and all that. Since I was doing four or five of them probably within its refresh rate, it couldn't keep up with that. So it completely lost the account, which is good. So um, that's the last thing it picked was me changing it to not botter. So um, again, if you guys are, for whatever reason, 
in a kingdom with a really good bot, it might be much harder to get away from it. But if you're in a kingdom with a normal bot, it may be really easy to get away with it and even do the uh, port to the wonder port back trick as well. So obviously you don't know what bot they're using and it may be harder, but um, hopefully this information helps you out in your trapping days and all of that, helps you bait some people, helps you not get zeroed all that stuff. So if you guys have any more questions about this, I'll answer it in the comments down below. Again, um, this is not an advertisement for the bot. This is just a information about how to get around the bot, what the bot sees, all that stuff. And I hope you guys learned something if you've never seen it, because again, a lot of people are getting zero because of it. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one.